Hi, this is Bruce with Huntsaker Home Hacks. And today I'm going to take this old LED strip that my kid had in his bedroom and for somehow miraculously it got cut into multiple pieces. I was like, it'd be really nice if I had a nice ambient glow behind my computer screen and behind all everything there. And I was like, I got those LED lights. So maybe I can take these LED lights and put them behind my computer. Well, I looked through a bunch of other stuff I had and I was like, well, I don't have any RF controllers. I don't have, I have some IR controllers, but they're only five volt controllers and these are 12 volt lights. What else can I do? So as I was going through everything, I found my old adapter box. You never know when you're gonna need a good adapter. So I went rooting around here and I found a 10 volt adapter. I can take that adapter and hook it to these lights. I'm gonna show you how I take these LED lights and turn them into ambient lights using an old adapter. Don't touch that dial, stay right here and watch the rest of the video and I will show you how I do that. Okay, so here we are at the table and I did a couple of things already just to save time and make it easier to explain, but it's pretty simple. I soldered two wires onto the LED light strip. One to the 12 volt connector, which I made red, and one to the blue, which I made black. That way we, which know, we know which way the current's going. Here's my adapter. All right, this is the adapter I used. It's a 10 volt adapter, and I soldered on to the positive and negative right here. Um, a positive and a negative. I also took from the other thing this connector to hold the wires in place. I laid out a breadboard right here of things I wanted to do and in this box. Basically this box is a converted um, cover to a adapter. Okay here's my breadboard with my LED light my jumpers preset for where I'm going to have them. I like to have my jumpers twisted up and neat and tidy so not all hanging all over the place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed this through this hole that I pre-drilled right there. I'm going to feed this one through the same, the hole on the other side. Now we have these wires coming into our box. Now we're going to take our adapter, which is this guy right here, connect this power supply into here. I already preordained that was going to go there. We're going to take this and we're going to put it in here. We're just going to follow suit all the way around. I'm going to go on the red. Bring this one in. We got a red in. All right. So now. This is our negative. That's our negative jumper. And then we'll take this one. We're gonna go right beside that one. Like so. And we'll take this one. And we're gonna go right beside that one too. All right, so what we got here total we have 10 volts coming in from this puppy right here, from this adapter. So 10 volts goes into the board and it hits into this area right here. These LEDs are ran by 12 volts. So 10 is going to underpower them a little bit, but that's perfect. I didn't want to go full blown power to it. By adding this LED, I put a resistor in here to re reduce this down to the 3 volts to run the LED. LED 
light itself. So that's going to be right there. So now, when we plug it in, let there be light. As you can see, everything is now in working order. So, now the, my one concern will be these wires pulling out while I'm setting it up. So I'm going to take a little bit of glue, hot glue, and I'm going to glue these wires on both sides. Just because I don't want them moving. And that should do that. This is already being held into place by reusing that part of the adapter. So then when I take this, I line everything up. I now have my wire in the harness. Blue LED lights are lit up with my little red indicator light right there in this nice little secure box so everything will be tight. The wire will be pretty handy. These are attached so they're not going to move around too much. And now I can mount it up into where I want it to be. Alright, so this is the end result. I took these old broken LED lights and used a 10 volt power adapter, soldered it in to a few wires, and now I have LED lights. Now I can also do this. Alexa, turn off desk. Alexa, turn on desk. Did I get them controlled by my voice? I got them controlled with my Beston plug socket. I use the extra RF plug socket that I had to control my LED lights. Sometimes it's good to take something old and make it new again. I took an old power adapter. I converted old LED strips into useful Omniance light. I took my newly purchased best in extra plug and use it to be able to turn that power on to power on and power off that device. So that's awesome. And I get the effect I'm looking for. So if you like the content of the video, please give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe and ring the bell for future notification. And I will see you soon. <laughs>